Hello and welcome to Tinseltown Trivia. I am one of your hosts, Brandon Davidson, alongside our normal new host, Sean Sebastian and Keith Cheatham. John Hughes was an iconic writer and director of some of cinema's best coming-of-age films in the 80s. Since so many of his films revolved around the struggles of the classroom and school is starting back up, we thought it'd be a great time to visit an absolute must-see classic, The Breakfast Club. Before Hughes settled on the title The Breakfast Club, other names considered were Library Revolution and Lunch Bunch. Hughes was disappointed in Judd Nelson because he stayed in character and harassed Molly Ringwald off camera. The other actors stepped in and convinced Hughes not to fire him. It only took Hughes two days to write the screenplay for The Breakfast Club. He later said that keeping the story in mostly one location made it easier to write and film. Filming for The Breakfast Club took place at Maine North High School in Illinois, which had closed in 1981. The same setting was used for interior scenes of Hughes' 1986 film, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. The library at Maine North High School, considered too small for the film, prompted the crew to build the set in the school's gymnasium. That explains why the library had a walking track on the second floor. We hope you've enjoyed this segment of Tinseltown Trivia, and if you love all things film, Join us every week on the Red Moon Podcast on Thursday nights live on Facebook and YouTube at 9 p.m. Eastern. That's right. Please like, share, subscribe, and follow us on all of our social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Just search Red Moon Productions. And if you're a little old-fashioned, please don't hesitate to email us at rmpodcast at redmoonproductions.com. That's right, rmpodcast at redmoonproductions.com. So until next time, we'll, we'll see, see you at the movies. movies.